Hey guys, what's up? It's TF Nut. Welcome back to the channel. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at the brand new Hasbro Dungeons and Dragons Forgotten Realms Dritz and Gwen Wyver. I've heard so many different pronunciations. I have. I really hope I did that right. But uh, we have Dungeons and Dragons figures from Hasbro, which is pretty cool. I've always wanted some toy line to do just fantasy figures. It didn't have to be. Dungeons and Dragons and Hasbro at least gave us this exclusive set here, which is a Hasbro Pulse exclusive. I really do hope they end up making a six inch Dungeons and Dragons line, rather that be just through Hasbro Pulse or through retail, because that would be very interesting. Normally I like to show off images of the packaging so that way you get a better idea. You know, I can zoom in on the images, but I have to do this with a free hand because as you can see here, uh, there's lots of things going on with this packaging. Forgotten Realms, she has really nice illustration of Dritz and Gwen Wyver right there, and then the names right there. Again, please tell me if I'm saying that name wrong. I really hope I am. Uh, I am not. Anyway, we have really nice details, as you can see, and it's also like this type of foil going on in here. It's really well done. It's continued on this side, this side as well. The details are kind of hard to see. On the back here, man, that looks great. It is a little hard to see. But turning up the brightness a little bit, it's kind of like this embossed detail right here. If that's even the word to use of the characters. And that is sick. It's kind of hard to see on the top here. It does say Dungeons and Dragons. So what you do is uh, it, this is taped up. So you just cut this out with tape and then look at this. Let's back this up a little bit. That is very cool. It's a really nice open box right here with the, both figures. Really cool details again. It does say basically what it said on the front and on the back. Okay, so this gives you a better idea of the illustration that was on the back of the sleeve. That was just a black detail. This is all in color. That is very cool. Does this even have... Yeah, this, this has a barcode. So who knows? I'm just going to leave it here just in case you need it. So this is awesome packaging. Let's go ahead and get this set open. So here are both figures out of the packaging and overall it's a pretty solid set. I might have a QC issue with my Dritz figure, but there is a lot to like about this set overall. We're gonna take a look at Dritz accessories and then we'll take a look at that figure first and then Gwen Wyver. So first thing I wanna show off is that we get some cool cards and there's some writing on the back and they have some really nice artwork. They're not really cards, they're just pieces of paper. It's a nice dragon. A lot of these creatures I'm just gonna tell you right now I'm not super familiar with because I don't, I don't really know if we ever came across this in any of my campaigns. That was a goblin. That looks like a giant. I don't know what that is, but that is sick. These are all really cool looking and that straight up just looks like a demon from Doom. So lots of really nice artwork here. So as you can see, pretty much all of these accessories are for Dritz. I actually, actually have no idea how I'm supposed to say his name, so I do apologize. But one accessory that we get for us is this 20-sided die, which is actually really cool. They did a really good job with how they painted the numbers in there with some silver. And it's molded in this glittery bluish greenish almost kind of plastic. There's some you know, dark plastic going on in there. And it actually looks really cool. I really dig that a lot that they decided to include that. So what we get for Dritz is these two heads. What's cool about these heads is that the hair is removable, which I'll talk about in a second. So looking at this one, which I think I'll put on during the uh, detail portion. We won't talk about it too much because I'm looking at it right now. Uh, it is actually a really nicely sculpted head. Really nice paint. I think they did a great job with the... There's a little bit of like shadowing almost there's some like purple in the wrinkles and the lips of course and the eyes are printed very nicely and the hair i think is sculpted pretty good and painted all right they kind of put a little bit of a wash in the hair but uh it's it's not the greatest but it's not horrible so that was a more smirked head that's not even a word smirked but uh, we have an angrier head here with flowing hair and you can see the nice gritting teeth there. Again, the eyes are actually nicely printed. And I think you even get better a better look at the shadows in his face going on. It's not really shadows, but you know what I mean. There's like a wash in his face. And then you can see the nice sculpting in his hair, as you can see. So basically, it's a little tricky to do at first. But essentially, you're just going to uh, it, you just pull down on the hair. 
or on the head itself. And as you can see, there's a big peg right there. It's on the back and it goes on the top of the head as well. And you can see that indent right there on his head. And I'll switch the hair real quick because this is going to take forever on camera. So here's what it looks like when you switch the hair out. This is really cool. We don't really get something like this unless it's with like SH Fig Arts or Figma almost. So I just really like this option uh, for switching out the hair. Now, be careful with yours if you're doing this because uh, I had this head poke, you know, the ears poking through. It did separate this piece of hair where it was supposed to be sculpted here. Now, it doesn't look too bad. It does kind of make it look like it's supposed to flow, but it's not. So just keep ahead uh just keep an eye out basically because that was kind of bad so let me try to rush through the rest of these because we do have a lot of other stuff to talk about here two really nice swords i believe this one here is the left hand sword and this one's the right hand sword really nice different types of plastic going on the blade with a little bit of a darker silver and a brighter silver almost bluish tint going on in there the sculpting is great and the detail on the handle is also really good it's just kind of this basic brown, uh, brown, uh, basic brown paint though, but it still, I think looks awesome. I'll show off what those look like sheathed later. And then you have a blue and brown hilt here and that just, it just looks really well done. We also get some effects pieces. These go on the blades. They're just these blue swoosh type of effects. These do look really nice. And uh, you'll get to see what these look like placed on there later, but basically, you just uh, slip one of the swords through like so. I might not be doing it. I'm not even doing it correctly. Just slip the sword through like that. It's pretty easy. But I'm not messing it up. We have this little uh, black panther. This black cat kind of uh, accessory. I have no idea. I need to look this up uh, exactly what this is. But uh, I, I assume it's related to Gwen, uh to the... You know, the black cat. I just don't know how to say the name. I'm sorry, guys. But it's actually nicely sculpted. And it looks really cool. We do also get a necklace that was actually on the figure. That I forgot to show off. I took it off for a bit. Uh, it's just got some gold paint right here. The neck part and then this little white piece painted on there. Last but not least, we get some alternate hands. So this figure comes with the hands that are meant to hold the swords. You have this more open almost look like it's a certain type of pose almost magic type of hand then there's a fist i do wish we got two of each but still nice that we have options for switching out the hands it does look a little weird though that you have these blue pegs with the black with you know black hands but still really nice looking hands so here is the dritz figure i'm going to zoom out real quick and that way you guys can hopefully i'll try to get a nice 360 look at this so apparently i've been saying names wrong uh, yeah, it's, it's Dritz, I think. I just don't know how to say it, man. And then, apparently, the panther's name is Gunivar, so what the hell do I know? Look, I'm just, I, I, I'm not claiming to be a TNT expert. I'm just a nerd who wanted some cool fantasy figures, you know. But, in terms of, you know, just having a cool fantasy figure, man, this thing is awesome. We already talked about the head here. Now, this piece does come off. It is this, uh green cloak which has I mean, it's molded in green as you can see here which actually has some nice wavy textures it's not too top heavy so that's cool um it does have a bit of a hood sculpted on there i think that's uh, that's supposed to be a hood or something basically protecting the neck who knows uh probably some of you in the comments do and then we have some of this uh, fur paint on here which is bleeding onto the green so it looks a little sloppy head pops off rather easily which i'm not making it look easy right now but you just pop that off there. It fits around his body relatively well. Oh, the neck piece actually just came out. That, it hasn't happened yet. I don't know why. But, I mean, you can just pop that back on there. Just good as new. I put the necklace on here so you can see that. The rest of this body is awesome. So, like, if you want to make custom fantasy figures out of this body, I think it's going to work out really well might want to change up the skin if you have like a custom head of course you might want to change up the skin tone depending on what you want to do or if you just want to make your own type of elf who knows man this thing looks great i don't know if i could count this color as gold but it's close to it so i'm going to call it gold for now everywhere there's gold it's nicely painted i don't really see any splotching yet 
but on the chest, it looks great. There's lots of nice leather straps and details to make it look like leather. It's not the greatest, of course, nothing like NECA quality, but it is pretty close. You even, there's even some lines sculpted here, kind of like some laces or something. Um, so that is really well done. The shoulder pads are also really good. This one's a little bit warped pulling out here. So the upper arm here, which first of all, it has pinless tech. That's sick. But this joint right here for the double joint elbow for the upper arm is stiff. So hopefully that will not ruin my figure. If I try to bend that, I have to really heat that up so I don't mess this up because I don't know how getting a return to Hasbro Pulse is going to be. It's going to be a nightmare probably. But the gauntlets are also really nicely sculpted with some nice uh, details on the hands. I mean, they're a little plain, but they do kind of look like they're leather gloves. The way that they're textured, so that's sick. But we do have some blue in that joint right there, which is a little annoying. This is all one soft plastic piece here. Kind of a skirt, I guess. But some nice silver. It's kind of like silver mixed with gold. It is just really nice looking. It's continued on the back there with that nice paint. And then we have the sheaths. These look awesome with some nice silver paint. And this one has blue, uh, some blue molded in there. And it kind of has some leather detail, but the sculpt's a little soft. And then we have some brown here and a little bit of gold towards the tip here. And uh, yeah, that's really sick. Basically, how this works is you're supposed to fit it in the formation of the sword. Put that one in there. I just did that on camera uh, with a little focus, so hopefully I'll do it with this one there pretty well. And you can see the holes in there. I, I don't know what the holes are meant to do. If it's supposed to... I, I don't know. But I'm going to leave them in there right now. They, they don't really get in the way too much, so that's sick. But these things are connected with soft plastic, so they may have a tendency to break off if you pull on them too much. Just a heads up. Then we get down to the pants. It's a little plain. It does have somewhat, you know, of like the utility pants type of sculpt going on there with the zipper. That's not exactly a zipper, I'm sure, but you know what I mean. And then we have some nice texturing going on in the blue and the pants. Now it's mostly molded in blue, which can look a little plain in some areas, but then you get down to like the knees and the shin guards and they have these nice spikes which are not too you know they're so soft plastic so they're not going to be too painful if you move the legs around so that's cool um man this just looks really well done very nicely sculpted and then we get down to the feet a little bit of leather texturing on the tip of the feet and on the back towards the heels or really the sole of the shoe and it's more mostly the heel i think but yep that is just a uh, really nice looking a figure all around and then towards the bottom here there really isn't any details unfortunately now Dritz does have some pretty solid articulation although the hair gets a little bit in the way when it comes to the head articulation the head can go up that far it does have a hinge as you can see which actually goes up pretty good of course the hair is coming off down pretty good we have a separate neck joint here it's not a ball joint so you can go side to side all the way around and whatnot we do have a bit of a butterfly joint here arms go all the way around they do have an upper arm swivel double jointed elbow so this elbow here is pretty good it's just the other one is not very tight uh, this is just very tight on the other one up and down here and swivel this is for both of these hands and it does have the in and out hinge for the fist and the other hand which i found out is also meant for holding the uh you know which i included the name of this thing called the onyx panther um up and down hinge right there which has some continued details for the uh the abs right there so that's cool ah this waist twist is really tight for some reason so uh you know you can do it toward where you could grab the legs there you go legs go forward like this not really back at all we do have an in and out joint upper thigh swivel we do have double jointed knees and then we get down to here well, there is actually a swivel going up into the shin right there, or, you know, the calf, I guess. Then we have up and down. Mostly, da actually, a really good down, but the up is kind of, eh. It's good enough. And then we do have ankle rockers. Now we move on to, I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce the name, but this is an awesome piece. A really well done panther, or black cat, whatever you want to call it. It is very cool, nicely sculpted, and the overall molding is really just really good so uh i, I kind of want hasbro to do more animals that would be sick 
this thing hopefully will get repurposed and maybe like Marvel Legends somehow, maybe for, I don't really know how, but that would just, it's just really cool. And, uh, has nice articulated jaw, which I'll talk about the articulation in a second, but the eyes came through nice and yellow. The, the painting in the mouth on the teeth is really clean, even the roof of the mouth there. Now, it's mostly in a black mold here, you can see. But there is a little bit of this like purple metallic color highlighted throughout the figure going on in the legs, kind of like in the arms. Well, they're all legs, excuse me. But it's more prominent here than here. The overall sculpting, though, it's pretty good. Lots of nice fur sculpted throughout the figure, even the paws. They even have some of the, I don't know, I never knew what the bottom of the paws were called, or if they're just paws or something. But they have really good sculpting there. They have this kind of rough texturing there. There's the bottom, as you can see, going on here. There's even some more fur. And I need the back paws there. Looks really good. The tail also came through pretty clean, although I think the sculpting on the tail is a little soft. There's not much hair I could be uh, that could be seen or fur, really. But this is, the ears are also really nice, man. This thing is just so... It's really top-notch, seriously. I'm not talking about it too much. One thing that is interesting is that there's no, there's no continued detail. At least they maybe they try, but I don't really see it too well. Not much detail in the actual joint there, which can look a little weird, but I'm not really going to pay attention too much. So articulation on this thing has an articulated jaw. It's a bit of a ball joint here at the head, so it can move all the way around, up and down, and whatnot. And it does have this kind of ball joint peg system here too around the neck it could swivel all the way so that's really cool we do have swivels going up it could kind of go in and out here with a hinge but they're very tight here so that's their range of motion there uh, i can go forward that much we do have a single joint and it actually gets 90 degrees which is really cool we do have a hinge here for the paws and they do have a swivel it's almost like an ankle rocker here or pretty much is an ankle rocker so that is pretty nice ball joint waist swivels sort of goes up and down a little bit side to side mostly can swivel very well the back legs are really tight on mine but they could go back and forward and whatnot sort of in and out not really that much you do have a swivel here and a hinge i think i, I think i already mentioned i don't remember if i did but there's a swivel here as well uh the back hinge isn't very good but the outward like that is good we do have a hinge for here which that bends for the back paw and that is really nice and then we again have a hinge for the uh the paw there and then a swivel and then the tail has an up and down hinge but it could swivel so you can make it go in and out and whatnot and then the tail will curl to a certain direction the way you put it now for size comparisons i have both figures in the set here next to a Black Series Best Car Mandalorian and a Retro Collection Marvel Legends Spider-Man figure there. Dritz actually fits pretty well on scale with other six inch uh, Hasbro stuff like Marvel Legends and Black Series. Of course, Spidey's a little bit shorter of a Marvel Legends character here, but they all fit in about the same scale with each other. Now, of course, I'm not even gonna attempt to <laughs> attempt the Panther's name, but uh, that Panther from, you know, standing up all the way is going to be about a, maybe either at half or less than half of the size of a marvel legends or six inch figure of course but it's about four and a half to five inches long not including the tail that adds another like two to three inches so it's pretty long altogether but height wise of course it's not going to be taller than these guys so i've said it over and over again in this review but i am not the biggest D, D expert i kept messing up the names of course couldn't even get the names of some of, the, some of the accessories right i'm just here to talk about the details and what they come with of course and just how the figures are so if you are a D, &D fan and need some other collectibles that aren't like statues i do recommend picking up this set it is a hasbro pulse uh, exclusive of course and you might be asking uh, why did you pick up a set if you're not that familiar with D&D? Well, I generally like fantasy stuff like Game of Thrones, Lord of the Rings, and whatnot. And uh, honestly, I mean, I'll take fantasy figures whenever I can. Last time we had any type of fantasy figures, I feel like, you know, in retail was probably from until like Game of Thrones figures, which weren't even that great. So I welcome all kinds of fantasy figures. Uh, you know, you can use these, of course, as specific D&D &D characters, or you can use these figures 
just for whatever you want in a fantasy display me uh i don't know what i'm gonna do yet but you'll see some images of course where it's basically as if you know you have some different party members in D D. of course that could be really fun if you want to do an action figure display and mix and match different toy lines together of course overall great articulation on dritz and even uh the panther awesome accessories and it's just a very fun set and honestly it's worth the 50 bucks that i paid for and it also has really nice packaging and a bunch of other uh collectibles and accessories as well so i uh, thank you guys very much for watching please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already comment down below what you think about the figures what you think about the review leave a like share amongst your friends and i will see you guys later